All right, man, I got to get a little bit hard on these free agent spotlights. We're still kind of easing in the draft spotlights, too, but we're going to go hard on free agency. And um, then we get to draft spotlight. I got draft spotlight coming today, but let's talk about free agent Solomon Thomas. Came out of Stanford from Chicago, Illinois. Let's talk a little bit about him. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Last season, he only had two tackles because he suffered um, a blown out ACL, unfortunately for him. Um, but, uh, you know, he was a guy that went really high in the draft and just kind of seemed like he never fulfilled, you know, his his potential yet. And he only 25 years old right now. And one of the guys I really like because not saying he's going to come in and, um, and, and, and be, you know, Von Miller or something like that. But he was a uh, number th three pick in the 2017 draft. Um, but you look, you look at him and maybe some potential there, you know, even coming off the ACL injury, his rookie year, um, he had 41 combined tackles, um, three sacks. The next year he had one sack, 2019, he last played two sacks, um, 15, I mean, 21 combined. I just think he needed to get a, a full-time turn. Okay. Um, and he played high school in Texas, but he needed to get a full-time, uh, turn. What I mean, he was behind D4, behind Bosa. I mean, you also had DeForest Buckner. You, you had a few guys down there that was, uh, you know, that was really, really good in San Francisco. And he never really got a chance. He had a couple starts last year because you had Joey Bosa going down. And, you know, I, I thought, I think, you know, he got a chance to really, really come somewhere. If it's not Detroit, somewhere else, put his hand in the dirt and we can see what happens. But he's one of them guys you can call in, give him a little bit more change in market value for a year, and see what he got. You know, and I think, you know, if you're gonna get rid of Trey Flowers or Romeo Cora or bring one of them, I think he really good. You got two, you got another guy coming off of injury in Julian Okora. I think you could put his hand in the dirt and we'll see what happened. And I just think he's one of those dudes that can, you know, maybe fill a temporary void. And then, you know, what if he what if he blow up? You know, he get out here and his his confidence was hurt from San Francisco, not being able to go out there and, and, and be, you know, and start, you know, plug him in and see what he do. If he don't do good, I mean, he could be a rotational player. Don't forget, if we do lose those guys, you got Julian O'Cora coming back. You got, um, it's another guy just popped in my mind. I forgot about him. Deshaun Hen, who could play the edge. So, you know, you can have some young, you can have some young edge rushers, and that's okay. I like that. You can have some really young edge rushers and see what happened. My number one concern on defense is filling the interior. And I said that before. And people saying, we need linebackers. People don't understand how football works. If you don't have a good D-line, your linebacker is not going to have a great opportunity to do what they do. I think their number one thing to do defensively is fill the interior. And you got John Panice. You got Hangel put in there. I just feel like they need more. Leonard Williams, draft the guy and see what happens. And then we'll worry about the edge later. I mean, you keep Romeo. You keep Trey. Still, Solomon Thomas could be in the fold. Him, Austin Bryan, you know, I just I just like the fact, I would like the fact that they let both of them go. Uh, you know, you could let Romeo, if Romeo asks for a lot of money, you can let both of them go. And you still got some guys that can come in and help you. You know what I'm saying? But I think the number one thing that happened with the Lions was lack of creativity. People forget Jamie Collins is a great edge rusher too. So I would rather go young than, play, than pay some guys that, you know, that's, that's not going to perform. I could get the same performance out of Solomon, out of Bryan, out of Julian, out of Jamie Collins, you know what I'm saying? You get the same performance out of them. And I think people got this predetermined uh, that the defense is as bad as the number said is. I, and you know what? A train can run bad with a bad conductor. Ran, you run off time. But with a good contender, the train can be great. And I think with a better defensive conductor, and we don't know if Glenn is an upgrade, downgrade, or parallel to Matt Patricia. But I'm going to say he hopefully an upgrade with creativity. I think defense look good next year, but Solomon Thomas, love to bring him in, see what he got. Won't be in high demand either, uh, but hey, let me know what you guys think about the Lions potentially give him a short-term deal, see what he got. If he got nothing, it's, it's not hard, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out if you have a business question, quarry, sponsorship, video requests, all my social media description. Twitter's the fast way. Then Facebook, then Instagram, links in the description. Don't forget to check my other channel out right here on YouTube, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports, music, news, entertainment. Want to make a financial donation? Cash App, CJ Good 313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. We gone.